Hi, I would like to talk about a standard Git branching model uh, that we use, uh, that for example my team Tres and Formal uses for their latest game called Basketball. Uh, I guess it's a basketball game. Um, and we use a standard Git branching model in which you have a, a master or a main branch, a developed branch and we have some topic branches. And these branches um, they have three different purposes. So the master or main branch, is just two different names for the most important branch, um, should be a working version. This should always be a working version. If you break that version, you have a problem. And uh, not not in a in like in the team present formal. We are, it is an informal team, but we will treat this as if it's a serious problem. If you break master or main. Um, this will be the first thing you will be asked to fix. And master or main should always work because what happens is we we use the develop branch where we merge our work and if that works we just merge it to develop. So develop is also it's also called the staging branch. This is where we merge all our work together and if it works we merge exactly that same version to master. So from develop, if develop passes, that exact version goes to master and then it should still pass. The topic branches and in Tres and Formal we use named branches, so there's a branch called Richel for example. That is where the actual work is done and that's the purpose of those branches and there the build may fail and it should sometimes fail uh, and that's all okay. But if you want to get it to develop, if you want to merge it to develop, uh, at that point the topic branch should work. So let's take a look in a bit more detail of the flow. So there is this picture here and I have a I have a bigger version of that picture as well. I have it here. So, zo so here we see the three types of branches. At the top we have the master branch, in the middle we have the developed branch and at the right at the bottom we have the topic branches. So we start from the bottom uh, this is where these are your topic branches and the goal of those is to develop your code in isolation. And if your work builds cleanly you can merge it to develop. And we you do this using a code review but if you're like an, a newer team member uh, or it's a very high priority then you can do this without a code review but those are the exceptions. So this means that also that develop will have a lot of changes. So it's a good idea to at the start of each day update your topic branch with new content possibly from develop. Just merge develop to your topic branch. This should always work. There is one exception however is if develop doesn't work. If, you, if someone breaks develop and this can happen by accident um, this person will be asked to prioritize fixing develop. Um, all team members will be notified that the develop breaks, that it doesn't work. So you don't want to merge develop to your branch anymore because then your branch will also break. Uh, but that should be rare. In general it's a good idea to merge develop to your branch at the start of each day. If develop builds cleanly then you can merge it to master. And this should be the exact same version. So that this means that if develop has a as a build that builds cleanly, well then exact same version should build cleanly on the master branch too. Um, also sometimes people do work on master for good reasons uh, and the most common form we see is that you're an, uh, a newbie and you need to work a bit, on. A, you need to do your first git up skills, you need to practice a bit and you haven't learned about branches yet, then you work on the master branch and this is usually about some textual work so it doesn't mean, so, so the code is won't change um, so you can set, the big, like the newbies will work on master um, to get their feet dirty using git and github and their work means that, it, that master will always build anyways whatever they do but it also means it can be safely merged to develop um, so there's a flow from master to develop that, that, that can be regularly or irregularly done. So 
you see that there's no direct merge from a topic branch to master and that's because the valve is always in between um, so you also merge through these things so let's say you have so, so let's see master broke uh, due to you causing a, uh, a bug in the code or a problem in the code then yes you work on your topic branch you merge it to develop and you merge develop to master if you want to update your work from the master you first merge master to develop then you merge develop to your topic branch in this case you don't get weird conflicts so this concludes my video in which I've showed the branching uh, workflow that we use in Tesla Formal, which is one programming team, but it's quite a standard one. So this concludes my video. I wish you a very good day. Bye.